Okay, you can stop the ear ear graining sound effect there. Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 2 of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, the epic PS2 game, which is better than the uh, GameCube version. I'm not hitting on the GameCube, the GameCube was a phenomenal system with great games like Pikmin and Pokemon and stuff like that, but a lot of games that were made for the PlayStation 2, Xbox, and GameCube, GameCube used usually the worst version of it, and that sucks. So anyways, we're here in Dragonfly Dojo. And we had recently freed a sensei named Bruce. I wonder if he's named after Bruce Lee. I highly doubt it's Bruce Wayne, so that's a thing, I guess. Oh, great, more water. And are you talking about Zoe the fairy? Yeah, I don't know why she doesn't tell you. Did, did you not have the voice actor for Zoe in this game? And that's why... Did oh my god, that's so janky. Remember I said this game can be pretty janky? Yeah, that's what I meant. And to progress in the level, you do need to free every sensei. But I like to save them until I clear out their entire area of goodies. Now, I recommend not doing mini games though until you beat or get all the gems of the level. Because the enemies do respawn when you do mini games. So, you know, keep that in mind for when you're uh, doing stuff. Sh shalak. Hey, it's Shalak. Or Shalak. The names in this game are also really weird. I know some of them were weird in Spyro 3, which I will be doing the Reignited Trilogy some point down the road. And we will also be doing some versus gameplay of Spyro at some point too. Just gotta figure out times and dates and things, because people all have different sleep schedules, they're all in different countries, states, provinces, whatever. And makes things a little difficult to record with, but... Ah, we'll figure something out. If I had my own place, then yeah, okay, it would be easy, or my own schedule, or if I did this as a job, you know, then it could be, like, super easy. We found a rune! The Electric Breath rune! So that gets us to, I think, three or four new levels. You only need two breath types, so it's not like uh, there's going to be that many zones you can go to. The first zone of this game is just the smallest, like the one you start in. Can these guys even hurt you? Also, did that guy not spawn a gem in, or what? Oh, I didn't want to talk to this little dragon. Yeah, Kite got stuck. Nothing we can do about that just yet. There are a lot of things in this game that you'll have to backtrack for. Not as much as um, other Spyro games, but Spyro's been pretty good with backtracking in all of its games. I think A Hero's Tale is probably the biggest example of a game that has backtracking in the Spyro franchise. I love how, like, the, the breath attacks in this game are very, um, not that useful. See, remember how I said flaming enemies is worse than charging them? See how slow that gem took to appear? Or, like, jump, or, like, fall down completely? That's what I mean. Like, it's just super slow, and it's just annoying. Also, I hear a portal up there. That woo 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 is the portal. And those are, like, mini games, and they're kind of weird, because they're, like, just black with, like, swirly things going into it. Yeah, we can go collect the gems over up there though. Yeah, see, if you can kind of see the portal mini game thing up there. Also, I like how there's like little bamboo water like things around here. This is really cool. Like, oh, and the skin could have been phenomenal. If they like do an HD remake of it and then like actually add in what they were supposed to, that would be really cool. Also, do you see how it kind of like moves sideways when it's gliding there? Yeah, that's another thing the game does, is it's really janky. Also, if there's too much going on, the game really gets slow. So these things. Those are the mini-games. And some of them are actually really difficult and annoying. But we got another dragon here. Spyro-san, I'm sorry the dojo is in such a state for your visit. It's usually a haven of tranquility. It is here that dragonflies grow up and train to be dragon companions. Protecting young dragonflies is a dragon sensei's highest calling, you know. And Spyro, your efforts will result in much reward. Alright, Jackie Chan. How about they just open up doors? It's like that, that's all they're good for. 
We still got three more. Interesting. I wonder if they're all gonna be named after, uh... Um... Like, martial artists. Ooh, one gem. A tip for these sections, too. A lot of the gems hide behind the steps, like, behind, so you can't see them properly. So just make sure you do, like, a 360 every time you go down something. Because you never want to miss anything. Not in this game, because it can be annoying, because enemies respawn. Unlike other Spyro games, and... Well, the enemies will eventually respawn if you leave the level, but in this game, they always respawn upon death, or upon doing a mini-game and stuff, which shouldn't be the case. But it is, and it's annoying, but whatever. Oh look, Moneybags is back. Just can't escape that bear, can we? Also, we got another Sensei over here, that's pretty cool, I guess. Ooh, those are actually pretty beefy baskets. That's 20 gems worth of gem- 20 gems worth of gems. 20 bucks worth of gems right there. And there's an island over there with a whirlwind that we can go to. God, Spyro's face gets so deformed when he uses his flame breath, it's not even funny. I guess we'll talk to Moneybags here. Ah, Spyro. Same voice actor. In trouble again, I see. What a surprise. Dragons in danger or something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the other dojos. Although I may be practicing compassion, money still has my soul. Yeah, this is the only time you have to pay him. I think he was supposed to be in here more often, but not this time. He even has a cool animation in this. Thanks, Spyro. These gems are music to my ears and will do wonders as inspiration for my poetry. Look, Spyro, even I know some magic when properly motivated. That's actually a reference to Spyro 3 when he was in Spooky Swamp. Okay, you can stop the ear ear graining sound effect there. Let's see who this is. Are you gonna be like Jet Li or something? You are a oh. dragon wise beyond your years. May the dragon spirits guide you on your way. It is. Wait, he didn't actually do anything. He was just okay. The fact that these kind of move up and down is kind of cool too. Also, is that seriously another um dragon? Sensei already. I might keep wanting to call him Dragon Elders, but that's the other game. And then in uh, Spyro One, they were just dragons. I don't know when they became elders. It makes you question how like long the Spyro games are in between. Because a Hero's Tale, I feel like it was meant to be like quite a ways after Spyro Three. And this game, no idea when it takes place. Oh, it actually did hurt us. So their little kicks do hurt. That looked like a one-up uh, butterfly, but I guess not. So that's something. Mm hmm. So it looks like we can go over here and get ourselves another dragonfly of epic proportions. Oh my lord, come back here, little guy. Or girl, I don't actually know what you are. Come back here, then. They, it. Catch the dragonfly spiral. Why is this one such a pain in the butt? His pattern is so sporadic, it's... Oh, come on, man. That, that should have got on. Oh, come on, he like 360'd around at the last possible second. We did get a 1-up, though. Oh yeah, this game does have lives, and lives are not that easy to get in this game. There we go! Dawn. Hey, it's Dawn! Man, you could have made it easier. There's gonna be a lot of those ones. That one almost looked too high up, though, to collect, which is kind of interesting. But, surely enough, it wasn't, so that's good. Ooh, I still don't get why the gold ones are worth 25. I think they just forgot to put in the purple ones. Are they just lazy? Also, the blue gems are surprisingly dark in this game, which actually look really pretty. I will admit, like, a lot of the color in this game, like, this game does look pretty. It's just... 
moves janky and is ruined a lot of the time by the uh, poor hitboxes, the slowdown, the long low times, the uh, freezing and stuff that the game does. It was just a mess, and it was usually on sale in like a bargain bin. So, that's the thing. And who do we have here? Good work, Spyro-san. Those rip talks don't seem to be much of a challenge for you. Perhaps you should contemplate a career as a dragon sensei. It could be your density. I mean, your destiny. Now, I will open that gate. That, it appears, is my density. I mean, destiny, Spyro. I, I don't know how that's funny, but thanks, Toshiro. Is that like another martial artist, Toshiro? I don't know. He's also kind of, um... Weird, like, is that like a reference to something with the density thing? Like, I don't know, it just seems kind of... forced and not so funny. Like, yay, I guess. I guess we'll switch to our water breath. Bubble breath. Yeah, it doesn't even break baskets in this game. At least it did stuff like that in Hero Style. They didn't make it completely useless. There we go. Hey, it's Cinder. Hmm. Yeah, you'll eventually become a dragon in another spiral game series, which is actually a lot of people's favorite spiral characters. She is designed really cool though. Like her color scheme and everything, her horn design. Honestly, I may not be the biggest fan of what Spiral looks like in those games, but it is really fun. Oh my god, it looks like a tank mini game. Yay. I don't like tanks. I always found those type of games in Spyro to be kind of disappointing and kind of just jarring. Also, that's something we haven't run into in this game, are the vases in, in the game. And uh, trust me, they are... Wow, the effects of these things getting destroyed are funny. Watch. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's the pieces of them that go flying. I was like, why do those seem so delayed? Oh, we're getting more slowdown again. That's fun. This game, man, I tell you, it's just so bad sometimes. Especially when you have stuff like... Like, look at how bad those gems glitch. That's a lot of gems, though. Holy cow. Now, we should have, like, 822, something like that, because money bags took the rest of them, and... Oh, God. Oh wait, I thought you were gonna go up the path. Anyways, cloudy. Hey, it's cloudy. All right, thank you, cloudy, with a chance of meatballs. Oh, we got gems down here. We can go and collect before going up. All right, that way we don't have to backtrack down here. Even though I'm pretty sure we do have to backtrack down here. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the thing we have to do. Uh, this is actually really cool, this whole hill thing. It kind of reminds me of Bamboo Terrace from Spyro 3. Would have been really cool, though, too, if this game had, like, returning characters. I feel like once you introduce characters into a game, you got to at least include them somehow unless they die. And if they die, then you can at least have references to them, you know? And technically, all the gems that we need won't be up here, because he does technically open up a door for us. Hi they kind of remind me of Scooby-Doo when they die. It's kind of funny. And I guess we'll find this last dragon. What's your name, buddy? You have Ciao. done well, little dragon. Freeing the dragon senses took much courage. I think this baby dragonfly will be safe with you. All right, dragonfly time. Roxy. Hey, it's Roxy. That's the guitarist from Pokemon Black and White 2. Remember, Spyro, find and return the remaining baby dragonflies. They are the fortune of the dragon realms. They are? What I don't get is, technically, in the other Spyro games, there are no other dragonflies other than Spyro, so why does Spyro get a dragonfly and not the others? At least in um, the Legend of Spyro series, they actually kind of get into like why he has a dragonfly, because they found each other and were buddies. Well, dragonflies raised Spyro, essentially, so that that's why. But they became good buddies. And then all of a sudden Spyro has a destiny to fill. And then in the third game, which is the worst in the series, sadly, they, they give Spyro the ability to fly and everything. But I kind of want to know when Spyro is technically of age to fly 
and when exactly does like he stand on his hind legs because if you notice every adult dragon unless laying down stands on their hind legs and I'm not entirely sure why Spyro doesn't I know it's for gameplay but I want to know what age it... I think that's the exit portal it's really hard to tell exit portal from minigame portal in this game just saying it's one complaint I have to is is for people who don't know what they're doing. Okay, so I know we missed a few gems back on this pathway, I'm assuming. Uh, or not. Oh, great. Don't tell me I'm missing gems in this level. How many are we missing? Eleven. We're actually missing quite a few, and they're not in the minigames, by the way. The minigames will not have gems. And you don't get the ability to track gems in this game until you beat the game. So, that's another complaint I have with this game. It's really, really, really hard to f uh, find everything else otherwise. I think we have all the gems around here. I'm assuming it'll be in one of those two zones, either with the islands or, uh, like, all the water, because it's usually where I seem to miss the gems for whatever reason. Now, I think we already checked back here, because we did backtrack when we killed the enemies here. Oh, I thought maybe there'd be something behind the doors, because sometimes they have like, gems behind doors. I'm pretty sure this is the area that I mentioned, you know, make sure to look behind you, just in case you miss gems, which is exactly what I had happen, which is annoying, to say the least. It's usually, like, one gem in, like, these areas that I missed, but they made them more visible on this kind of, like, enhanced version, so it's not that bad. Well, there's... Oh, God, I thought that was a gem. It was just a freaking cricket. A stinger cricket. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going at this point. Like, I'm just, like, wandering around hoping that I find gems. And all I'm finding are stupid crickets. Wait, how did we miss that? So we're missing six. So I'm assuming it's a blue gem and a red gem somewhere. Or, like, three green gems or something like that. So we missed that blue gem. Which is good. That we found it. Not that we missed it, but the fact that we found it is excellent. So now I'm gonna look around here carefully. I guess we'll go up here and check. This happens every now and then in Spiral where you just miss gems, you know? It's gonna happen. It's nothing special. Even after playing Spiral 1 through 3 infinitely and sometimes never missing a single gem, I somehow still miss some, you know? I'm pretty sure it's these sections that I usually miss them on, so it's weird that I got them on the sections that I normally miss them on, but then not the ones that I... whatever. Uh, let's see here. Uh, anything around here, maybe, that I missed? It doesn't look like it. What about the island? Oh, wait a second, there's one of the green gems I mentioned, so that's seven. That we found. Huh, interesting. I don't think there's anything over there on that island, though. That seems to be pretty clear-cut. Because we did loop around in half a dozen times trying to chase after that... Actually, it's probably a dozen times chasing after that dragonfly. That one was the most annoying one to get in this entire level. Alright, um, well, there's a cliff. Okay, nothing. It's usually around this section where people miss gems, so I'm hoping that's where I miss them. Also, I wish there was an easier way to check the, like, atlas for the level that you're in, but even clicking select doesn't really do anything like it used to. Let would bring up the specific, specific level you're on, so there's that. Also, why are the sparkles flying out? I shouldn't be flying into it, because it sucks you in, not pushes you out. But okay. okay. Nothing there, or anything over here, nothing there either. And I know for a fact that they're not down there. I don't think we missed anything over there either. Technically the Wait, did we miss something over there? Oh, frick, it's a plant. So why do we hear water all of a sudden? That's just weird. Ugh, the sound effects in this game, too. Like, there's a lot wrong with it. It doesn't mean that the game isn't fun and enjoyable. Just be careful and make sure to save frequently, because a lot of the time you'll get stuck in places that you probably shouldn't get stuck in, like talking to a character. Especially once you open up the last area with the last breath, you'll start to notice that a few things are a little janky, and sometimes talking to NPCs will actually get you frozen. Okay, so are we sure I'm not missing any gem on this pathway right here? Okay, what the heck am I missing? Uh, let's see. Uh, four gems. Mm 
Hmm. Well, I was hoping to do some of the minigames in this episode, but it doesn't look like we're gonna have enough time, also want the episode to take years. So, we're gonna uh, just look for these last gems and call it in, so I'll probably speed this part of the video up. That way, you know, we're not like, you guys aren't watching me do it forever, but you guys can also get some funny moments and stuff out of it, you know, laugh, giggle, uh, freaking. Uh, what's, what's that word? That, there's a silly word I'm thinking of, like, it's an old school world. Oh, jovial ribbing. That, that's the term I was thinking of. It's like an old term joke. Uh, old, old, old term for joke. Well, joking specifically. That was not a hitbox there. Wait, there's one. The gems are right here. And there we go. Do -do 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 -do. So anyways, in the next episode, we will be doing some of the minigames, probably all of them. There's a speedway here and a tank minigame, and then all that'll be left is to get those dragon, uh, dragon's kites down, which we sadly cannot do yet. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, join the Discord and the Patreon if you guys want to see videos early, if you guys want to be posted in the credits and opening credits and everything, and if you guys want to pick the game that's going to happen. I'll see you guys next time, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.